Hello friends, in this video uh, I'm going to do an example on calculus <coughs> and application of, uh, this is also an example of optimization or minimization, yeah. So let's read the question, find two positive numbers whose sum is 4 and such that the sum of the cube of the first and the square of the second number is as small as possible. So first let us uh, let uh, or let us assume how are we going to um, express this in algebraic way. So they say that the sum is 4. Okay. So we say okay if one number is if one number is say x the other number would be the sum is 4 so the other number should be 4 minus x so this is your one number and this is the other number and the sum of the cubes we want to make it as small as possible so <coughs> we'll say uh, sorry the sum of cube and the square of the second number sum of cube of the first and the square of the second. So we say, how will we express that? That is x cube plus y minus x, the whole squared, you want to minimize. You want to minimize this function. Minimize. Okay. So I'm going to write this as a function of y. So we say y is equal to x cube plus minus x squared. So y is equal to x cubed. So if you expand this, this will be 16 minus 8x plus x squared. So y is this uh, cube and squared together. So that's x cubed plus x squared minus 8x plus 16. Now you want to minimize this function. This is a sum of cube of the first number and the square of the first number. Okay, so let me write in, in place of y, can we, can we write s? So s will make more sense. So this is the sum uh, as a function of x is like this. So you want to, to minimize s to many is I think s you should know your ds by dx should be equal to zero okay now if you graph this function this is a cubic equation so I can say uh, it's not a rough so this is only a rough sketch uh, it may be a graph somewhat like this so I'm just making a guess because it's a cubic equation will be going because it's it go up down up so this is what we want to find this is where your gradient of the line at this point will become zero so you can say that the gradient of this line at this point so this is your s and this is your x so at this line your gradient which is ds by dx we know should be zero because this is a line which is a tangent at this point okay so let us differentiate this so ds by dx would be 3x squared plus 2x minus 8 and we're going to let this equal to 0 so so therefore 3s squared plus 2s minus 8 is equal to 0 so if you factorize this, you can use a graphic calculator, but I want to do without the calculator. So this I'm going to write as 3s squared. So what I'm doing is 3 times negative 8 is negative 24. And the two factors of negative 24, which gives me plus 2, is I know is plus 6 minus 4. So I'm going to split this as 6s minus 4s minus 8 is equal to 0. Okay. What I've done is this 2s 
I have written as 6s, 6s minus, oh, this is not s, sorry, <laughs> this should be x. Okay, I don't know why I wrote x s there. So this is 6x squared minus 2x. So this is 3x squared. Okay, now what can you factor out here? You can factor out a 3x. So you'll have x plus 2 here. And you can factor out a negative 4 here. So you'll again have x plus 2 here is equal to 0. So I can say it says x plus 2 times 3x minus 4 is equal to 0. So I can say s is equal to negative 2 or f x, not s, x is equal to 4 over 3. But x is positive. You can say but x is greater than 0 which implies your x is. I'll show this on a graphic calculator. So your 1s Okay, so one number, you can say one number is x, which is four-third, and the other number, other number is four minus x, which is four minus four-thirds. So this is, if you multiply both by three, this is twelve-thirds minus four-thirds. So the other number is? Eight thirds. Okay, now I'll show you how to get this on a calculator. So you know this function s or the sum is. So let me bring that up so that I can see. Get the calculator out. I'm using a graphic calculator. I'll crash your graphic calculator. Go to your graph and uh, type in x to the power three. Now what's the equation? x cube plus x squared, isn't it? Yeah, x cube plus x squared minus 8x plus 16. Now I'll have to adjust the scale. So you go to shift V window. I'll go from 0, or say, I'll go from minus pi to pi. Scale of 1 is alright. Don't change the dot. I'll go from, say, minus 10 to 30. I'm taking just a bigger scale, so because I don't know what type of graph this will be. So and then draw it. Okay, so this is your graph. This is what I said. This is a graph something like this. Now we're interested at this point. This is where you get the minima. So or you get your least sum. So on your y-axis you've got the sum. On your x-axis you've got the number x. Okay. So you go G solve and then you press minima. Okay. So yeah. 1.333, which is four thirds. Okay, so that's your answer. So this is how you can differentiate. So one one number is four third, and the other number is eight thirds. See you in the next video.